we're gonna show you my almost finished Babington burner furnace. Uh, we have the burn tube, which is actually part of a trailer axle. That's what I had on hand. Uh, well, it was really convenient because it was already capped off. Uh, this is the frame. Um, the piece of sheet metal from an old uh, furnace holding the burn tu tube up, a burner, uh, and you can see I'm using uh, the wheel attach from the trailer, uh, from the trailer axle to hold the burn, uh, burner nozzle. Uh, the pieces are from a uh, snowmobile trailer jack that was broken. Uh, also have, this is my oil preheater, which is a mini crock pot that has um, hot liquid in here, and it's detachable with air uh, fittings, so that uh, my workshop here is, uh, it's not close to where I normally am, so I want to be able to take this apart quickly and have it um, heat it up before I come here so I can plug it in practically and start right up. Um, over there is the uh, barrel that the burn tube is going to be in eventually. I have to do, I want to get this test out of the way first. So uh, I'm going to set the camera up and see how it goes. Basically, we get air bubbles out of the oil line. <laughs> Try another tack. All right, uh, another take at this. so much as I had the uh, turns out the air fittings weren't going to work they weren't letting enough they weren't letting enough oil through so I've removed them and we'll see what it does Silly me, I forgot to turn the oil back on.
had some good ignition. It's still running too rich for something. Try increasing the pressure. shooting through there really really fast because I need to tone the pressure down. <laughs> 